Good afternoon. I'm just taking a look at this tweet from Leah Culver. And that name rings a bell. I forget why. Um, so, I, But I love this tweet. She started a new job as an iOS dev at Airbnb a few weeks ago. Took a year and a half off. Did some soul searching. Only realized I'm happy as writing code. I can totally uh, uh, understand that. I think in 2011, I traveled the world for a year, and I think I made it about two months without writing any code. I didn't even bring my computer. And then I went to Thailand. I went out and I bought a netbook, and because I just needed to write code, it's it's great. It's a fun. I just it's it's not just writing. It's it's writing code, but it's a type of writing. Um, are you still updating the Painted Lady House? Oh, she owns the Painted Lady House. Well, that's cool. But how do I know this person? What do they do? Um, LeahCulver.com. Oh, we could build this. Let's build this on scroll. LeahCulver.com. Look at this. Oh. Okay, the site's now live. Okay. Leah Culver is the title. The title, Leah, Leah Culver. Culver. All right. And, um... Let's grab all this content here. You're gonna love, Leah, you are gonna love scroll. If you like to write, if you like to write code. Um, former founder of, um, I still don't remember how I know this person, but it seems like they've done some cool stuff. So look, here's how you do links in um, scroll. You just put them after the text indent them by a single space um, convor grove grove is that like the grove is that like a restaurant in san francisco is that what i'm thinking of or is this a startup she's also worked at twitter she's worked at a lot of places on twitter spaces and a dropbox all cool things okay and then to make these links, we just select, we put the text that we want. It's kind of like CSS selectors. We just put the text that you want to highlight. I mean, make a link. Um, what is this? Grove, Convore. And this way it keeps your, your markup separate from your content, which is nice. Um, so let's just see how we're doing here. Um, okay, let's get this photo. We need this photo. Throw that there. And then I just drag this back on here. And let's put this photo. All we have to do is type the name of the photo. And that, and that will give us the image tags. Okay, and we're going to get it to the side in a second. Um, you can find me in San Francisco with my pug, Mr. Wiggles. Hello, Mr. Wiggles. And Brick. Mr. Wiggles. All right, let's look at Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wiggles. Joy Fitness, e-biking. What is e-biking? Is that like biking but not outside? Playing poker and contributing to local nonprofits and political organizations. She's got a GitHub. She's got some links. Links here. Um, Twitter. GitHub, LinkedIn, Instagram, and then email. I think the email, I think that we'll get a mail to link automatically for that, but we'll have to manually do these ones. Twitter, link, GitHub, LinkedIn. What is her LinkedIn here? Instagram. LinkedIn, Insta. And we could probably improve this. So if you if you write these words, we could probably just replace them with the proper links. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, and we'll get the spacing there done. So now, what else do we got going on on the site? Anything else? And now is it just kind of style? I think that's it. She's got some confetti falling on her head. Um, but we've got... Oh, we, we need some meta tags. Let's just type, type in meta tags. Give us the meta tags there. So now we've got 
Um, oh, we need to print the title. Did I print the title yet? No. Let's uh, print that title. Print title. Does she have any other meta? No. So, okay, Leah Culver. We got the meta tags in there. Does she have a fave icon? She doesn't. But let's go ahead and make her a fave icon. Fave icon maker. Can we just use this ping as the fave icon? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a pro on fave icons, but let's see what happens. Holy shit, we can just use that photo as the fave icon. Look at that, Leah. We've already made your site better. Um, but this is a beautiful font. Which font is this? We've got a nice thin font weight. Font family. Oh, it's just open sense. With a, with a light font weight. So let's go ahead and change the CSS, body, font family, open scenes, and I think the font weight, I think it's 100. Let's see. Does that look right? Yours looks better. Why does your text look better? Um, font. Font family, font style, normal, font weight. Huh. Outline color, Evan. Font family, open scenes, postscript name, font origin. Oh, do I not have, is font, is open scenes not a built-in font? Let's take a look at the, oh, do we need to add this? Style sheet, watch this, watch what you can do here. Well. Actually, I'll just grab this. Reset, style, mobile. Let me just paste in some HTML. That's fine. Now let's see if we get the font family. Is that open sense? Well, anyway, you get the idea. And now, how about responsiveness? Okay, you're not really responsive. Is this just like a table? Um, it's two column. Got a two column look to it. We got the image on the left. And then the content on the right. So, um, what is the best way to do it? I'm just, look, I'm, I'm just gonna cheat. You guys know how to do proper, proper things, but I'm just gonna cheat right here. Old school, old school tables. Don't try this at home, kids. But there we go. We'll throw some patty in there. How about that for a little effect? I don't know if you like that or not. Well, we should we should tone that down maybe. <laughs> um, anyway, we need to get that that padding and spacing down. But um, but eight minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. I'll leave the rest the rest as an exercise to the re the reader. But check this out. Check this out. Everything we do has comes with a history. Everything is a git commit is a git repo we can see the history there of those 13 commits i just made i can download a zip file so look at this i can i just got this file and now look your site it works offline too of course we we would get rid of that google font tag um i can edit it go back to the edit page okay you've seen that i can clone it via two and look we've got it now we've got a clone of this site so you can don't worry about ruining the original. This is Scroll, this is Scroll Hub. It's a language, it's a whole new successor to the web. It's fun, it's awesome, and if you love to code, my goodness, you're gonna love this. Have a great day, Leah. Welcome back to the coding world, and um, yeah, keep coding, cheers.